you mentioned being able to work with who you want, where you want, however you want. So fantastic to be able to work online, set your own schedule, uh, be there and, and earn a, a multiple six figure uh, income. You're earning more uh, than some doctors that I know and you have a way better lifestyle. Hi, I'm Dr. Shauna Menard, and this is Six Figure Health Coach. And in this series, we interview some great case studies of people who have created six or multiple six figures as a health coach. This is the reason that I wrote my book, Six Figure Health Coach. I know most health coaches out there are struggling. First, they don't even know it's even possible. And then sometimes they think, well, it's just automatic. And it's not. It is not automatic. And most health coaches out there are struggling to make the difference they know they were born to make and to create a sustainable income. And so now a few years into this work, helping health coaches create six and multiple six figures, I wanted to kind of peel back the curtains and show you some of these amazing people and let's like dive into their secrets. How is it that they're actually doing this? So with me today, all the way from Athens, Greece, is the amazing Cleo Stoidis. And so Cleo, welcome. Thank you, Dr. Shauna. It's a pleasure to be here. Awesome. Well, let's go back and let's share your story. Well, let's start off with the punchline so that we'll hook them into this. Um, uh, what kind of designation would you say that you have? How much have you earned or sort of what, what would you what category would you classify yourself in as a health coach? Well, I am um, one month, one month short of earning um, 200,000, so multiple six figures. Um, and it's been a, such an exciting journey and it's all thanks to you, your support and your process and your passion in supporting us. Well, it's my favorite thing to do. Uh, we need to have more of you getting your healing gifts out there into the world. So let's roll it back. So. Cleo, one of our many success stories and just so amazing. And uh, I just, it just uh, feels so good to be able to do this work, but it means so much more. And it's not about the money, but you got to make enough money so that it's not about the money. And it's what that lifestyle is and what it allows you to do. So hang on, grab a pen. Uh, you'll probably want to take some notes. So let's take uh, it all the way back to when we first met Cleo. Uh, where were you living at the time? Where were you at? Uh, what had you been doing before? Kind of give us an, a sense of your life before we met, maybe even before you became a health coach. What was your life like? What were you doing profession-wise, all that kind of stuff? Sure. My life was very different back then. I was a lawyer. Um, I was working as a lawyer in Paris, so I was living in Paris, and I was not fulfilled at all. I had actually had a couple of flares because I have Crohn's disease, so that led me to reconsider my path. But that's what I was doing, um, being a lawyer in Paris. And um, I had flirted with the idea of becoming a health coach for some years, but I had always given myself excuses of um, lack of time, lack of money. Um, so, but it wasn't until I really made a committed decision to do it that I did it maybe a committed decision to not living the way that I was living this unfulfilled way um of yeah. course there was great things about my job but it was mainly unfulfilling so I made a committed decision and then that's how it happened and I enrolled in the Institute for Integrative Nutrition and became a health coach Okay, so, okay, and, and as many of you listening, if you're a health coach uh, or have struggled with your health, a lot of times in retrospect, you can see the trail of breadcrumbs. Every once in a while, you go back and you look at your life and you're like, I think I know why I had to go through that so that I can help people now um, 
through that and everything. I always say all of that, pardon me, but crap you go through is good fertilizer for your dreams. So all of that hard ship that you're as you're trying to figure out how do you get on the other side of this health challenge or whatever challenge it is you're figuring it out unfortunately the hard way I mean if you can find someone who's done what you want to do do that I'm I'm a, a big believer in hiring mentors coaches people who know what to do we don't have to do it the hard way but sometimes we're doing something and we don't know anyone else who's gotten on the other side of it I I didn't know anyone else who'd done this who'd become a six-figure health coach I didn't know anyone, but I needed to replace my medical income as a doctor. And you're here with Crohn's. You're like, well, I'm following the doctor's advice and it's still not, uh, this is not it. And I'm stressed out and this is not really the life I want to live. But that contrast really helps us clarify, chisel out what we do want, what we would prefer. Healthy body, more time, more ease, more loving relationships, all that good stuff. All right. So now you're a health coach. Amazing, amazing school, amazing training. And you're a health coach. <laughs> and so now what? How did you hear about me? How did you um, and what led you to and where were you at when when we started? Like what were some of the things that you were struggling with or, or wondering about? So I met you actually i was introduced to you through the institute for integrative nutrition um you had given a talk i was it was online for me but it was your talk was very impactful you had interviewed also as a health coach um a client so for me that was uh as a, an aspiring health coach that was very interesting to me and you had done this with your signature smile and um you were so approachable so um i booked a call with you um and um yes what i had been struggling before was really i had just graduated i um wasn't sure <laughs> I was, when I started um, IAN, I wasn't sure that I wanted to be a health coach. I just enrolled for my information. But then when I graduated, I was 100% sure that that's what I wanted to do professionally, that I could actually help people. But I had no idea how to do that, who, who to help. Obviously, somebody who has Crohn's because that's what I had gone through. And um, but I didn't know where they were. I didn't know nothing. I was very lost. And I didn't know um, if I wanted to help with. I had learned so much knowledge from um, the Institute for Integrative Nutrition that I did not how to I did not know how to utilize um, mm -hmm. and in what form. So even your call, our first call was very, it brought me clarity to me um, with your questions. So um, because I got clarity through your questions, it just made sense that I wanted to further collaborate with you. Yeah. Awesome. It, you know, it's, it seems obvious in retrospect. So you went there mainly to help with your health. That's a common thing. A lot of people go to um, IIN or some of the other great health coach schools. There's, there's several, uh, but IIN is my alma mater, <laughs> I feel like, where I went to. And a lot of people go there to help with their health. And then as you get healthier, you're like, well, why wouldn't you want to help someone else if you can, if you know something? help them and then but you learn a lot of things and most people most health coaches want to help everyone with everything and they end up helping no one with nothing and uh so they try to they don't want to leave anyone out and in the process they leave everyone out and it's counterintuitive and most health coaches fall into that trap and uh and I myself, you know, did as well. And or also wanting to help people prevent disease. Most of the time, they're not interested in preventing disease. So it seems always in retrospect when I'm talking to some of my uh, health coaches that they um, that it's obvious. Well, you had Crohn's. That's obvious that you had picked that as a niche. Um, but you've been in remission for uh, how long? 
And okay. was that obvious that that was what you were going to help people with? So, no, <laughs> to, tell, to, to say the truth, it wasn't. I mean, I got out of IAN with a very burning desire to help people. And you would think I have Crohn's. Well, it's normal that that's yeah. what I would have. I had no idea. Yeah. You helped me um, do that. Um, because it's exactly what you said. You want to help so many people. And it's like, well, I've learned so many things from IAN. I can help potentially everybody who right. doesn't have just Crohn's. So, but that's also much very confusing i was very confused and you brought clarity yeah it's it's very common and and uh so many of the coaches that we have whether i'm just going to adjust my seat here so many of the health coaches that we have uh they might help people with um head injury and uh or epilepsy or uh multiple sclerosis and it seems like well, that's obvious for them. I guarantee you it is not. And uh, I have this process that I go through where I mine your story for the gold that's always there. So if you're watching this and you're like, well, I don't, I wasn't lucky enough to have a disease process or I'm still in my disease process, I can't use that as a niche. I guarantee you, if you are an adult, uh, you have lived enough life, you are expert in something. And it's usually easier for someone else, for me at least, to spot it than you, uh, because it's just part of who you are. And I have this vast array of different people, and I always like to see, what is it about you that is unique and better than anyone else on the planet? There's something that is that so that when someone call, comes across my desk, because I still have people come across my desk to help with their health, and I no longer help people with that, and I refer out to my health coaches, the health coaches that I you know know that they're amazing at. So if somebody comes across with Crohn's, I'm like, you got to see Cleo, you know, that because you can help them better than I could. I didn't have to live with that. And you can help them through your experience. Um, so I we like to carve that out. So carving out a niche was was one thing. What else has so over the over the time that we've been together, uh, you so initially did you have like tons of clients where there's just easy was it just they were flowing in or was it you no know, there was a process and at the beginning you had no clients and then now uh, you know, tell us a little bit about that where were you before and then what's it like now just kind of give us that before and after picture. Yes. So no, clients did not come flying to me when I started because I know now in which respect that I had a lot of growth to go through, um, both um, with carving out my niche and being able to really pinpoint who I'm talking to, to um, the business acumen to growing um, and understanding everything that entails in um, doing a business, doing things that you don't like, because being a business owner has a lot of things that um, doing things that you don't like at the beginning, you're everything, yeah, <laughs> this yeah. is everything. So, um, but I did not when I started, I was very, um, I was really naive. I didn't, I didn't think it would be easy, but I didn't think that it would be um, a process, a growth process to go through. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, I, so I think the biggest myth or the biggest thing, well, I know I didn't really appreciate it. If somebody asked me, I probably would have answered correctly, but I never really thought about it. And I, and I went from being a medical doctor for 25 years, and now I was switching over to becoming a holistic health coach. And I thought that just meant really spending more time with my patients, uh, talking about more nutrition and natural things. I didn't, I thought it was kind of like the same, just more holistic. I didn't realize I just became an entrepreneur. I didn't want to be an entrepreneur. My brothers went into business. I went into medicine. If I don't wanted to go into business, I'd have gone into business. And so that is another little 
dip that people, chasm gap that people fall into as health coaches. They don't realize they're entrepreneurs, they're running a business. And it's a process, it's a growth identity, much like with your clients to go from somebody who is either victim or disease state label identified, I am a Crohn's or colitis sufferer, to someone who's healthy and well. And struggling health coach, struggling artist, struggling health coach to I am a six or seven figure CEO. There's a process and an identity shift to go for. It's one thing for someone who's obese to lose a hundred pounds. Very important to change this. Otherwise you'll self-sabotage yourself to be in alignment with who you see yourself as. And so that your business can only grow to the extent that you do as a very important, you know, thing that I learned. And, uh, but how wonderful and magical is it? That is one of the many bonus benefits that you get out of that. The person, it, success is not something that you get. It's something that you become. And just, it is, a, it's worth the journey. It's worth the journey. They're going to go through life anyways might as well make it good. So tell us a little bit about your practice now. Like, how do you, um, how do you, who, who are your clients? Um, you know, where, where do you find them? Do you work online? Are you brick and mortar? Tell people a little bit about, uh, about that and what it's like now. Sure. So I, I like what you said that at the beginning, you want to help everybody. And it's true. And when we carved out my niche, it was very much detail, like very, very narrow, Crohn's disease and it's women. And at the beginning, I felt a little stressed, like I would be missing out and excluding a big part of the population. But now I see that why I had to be so focused because although at the beginning I was helping Crohn's and people with ulcerative colitis, progressively people came to me that did not have this condition. They have other conditions, other autoimmune diseases. Um, some didn't have any autoimmune diseases. Some just wanted to lose weight because everything starts with the gut. So being very focused helps uh, me first helped me first to be to know who I was talking to because progressively people are going to come like knock at your door I know you help people with Crohn's and ulcerative colitis but I have this can I come in and that's how you grow your business but it always starts with um very very small so yeah now I help people who have, of course, Crohn's and ulcerative colitis, but also IBS and um, any kind of autoimmune disease. A lot of people who want to lose weight too. It is mainly online, um, actually 100% online. Um, now I'm based in Athens, in Greece. I left Paris. That's one, one of the big perks um, of doing something that you really enjoy. And they're based in, um, I think I have a client in every continent right now. So um, it's been a joy. And the, 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 how my practice is today is that I have the, I can work as much as I want, when I want. So, and I choose the clients that I want to work with. So that has been a very big, the main, one of the main difference with the practice that I had before as a lawyer, where you couldn't really choose your clients and you ended up working with people you didn't necessarily want to work with. Now it's night and day. I just choose the clients that I want to work with, which is, which adds in on the fun and the passion. And um, I, I, I'm looking forward to talking to my clients every week. So, yeah. yeah. So awesome. So, uh, so much there. I want to just unpack it a little bit, accentuate it with an exclamation point in case people miss some of the things. So it's super important to have a niche. The way to reach many is through the one. And then 
people will come to you and beg you to take them on. That, that, that's kind of why the niche is important. You cannot be an expert at everything, but you nobody can, so don't even try. And then if you try to be, that's where you start to get the fraud factor because you're not an expert at everything. And there is somebody better at such and such than you. But when you operate in your zone of genius, your natural strengths, the things that you love to do, if you're doing work that you love to do that lights you up, you are naturally attractive and people will come from miles around just to watch you in your zone. We do that with people who are great basketball players or great singers. We come to watch them in their element. And there's something very attractive when you are working in your area of expertise. So carve it out, put the flagpole on that mountain and anoint yourself queen of that mountain of that teeny tiny little niche, become expert at it. But you will get people from more and more and more and more coming to say, as Cleo was saying, like that they're coming for like, they, you know, it's not just Crohn's, it's other autoimmune and I can help with gut health and I can help with this and I can help with your relationships and I can help with your mood and I can, and it starts to expand and that's how you grow. But it comes through the one sort of narrow, narrow doorway that the way to reach many is through the one. So it's counterintuitive. Again, another gap that people fall into on their on their road here. It's common mistakes. I made them all myself. That's how I know they're there. <laughs> and so, okay, so that you, you mentioned that. You mentioned being able to work with who you want, where you want, however you want. So fantastic to be able to work online, set your own schedule, uh, be there and, and earn a, a multiple six-figure uh, income. You're earning more uh, than some doctors that I know and you have a way better lifestyle. Um, it doesn't mean that no tragedy happens in your life. It doesn't mean sort of, you know, things don't happen, but there are some benefits when you're in control of your own schedule and um, that you can like live or be or go wherever you want. You have that freedom and to be able to pick your clients, it's, it's worth it, you know, and it's doable. Um, so uh, let's just bust a couple of myths and um, and just before we wrap up. So here's a thing that a lot of people, um, when they're first coming to me, one, one sometimes, not so much anymore, but sometimes they will argue about why they can't have a niche or they don't need one. So we've kind of set that one aside. The other thing is they assume that you're running a bunch of paid ads, that that's the only way to do it. Um, do you do paid advertising? Never, never done it. Exactly. So I used to say, if you want to do paid advertising, wait until you've earned 30,000. Now I've upped it, wait until you do 100,000. And every single one of my six or multiple six figure health coaches uh, that I've worked with now are not doing paid advertising. They could, but they don't have to. I do paid ads still. Um, uh, but they don't have to. They're earning a great income with a great number of people that they wanna earn. And so there hasn't been a need to, but they now have a system set up. That's very important that they could. And I think a lot of people rush into that thinking that that's something they, a problem they can throw money at and they don't, that won't help. And so it's a fast way to get yourself into trouble. So now the reason why you can get around not using paid advertising is, and I know this, Cleo, is because you deliver excellent results. So excellence is our strategy, then it's a win-win all the way around. Your clients get excellent results. If your clients didn't get excellent results, if you, if you didn't know what you were doing, you would not be able to do this. And how great is it to have people coming to you because you are excellent at what you do? It's just, it just doesn't get any better than that. Would you say that's that's it. Like you have, you have natural confidence, you deliver results and that creates a sustainable business. Oh, yes. Um, I love that you mentioned confidence because that's the one thing and not the one thing, but if I had to think about myself when I started and how I am now, as I am a six figure CEO, it's night and day. You, uh, it's from zero confidence to zero self-esteem to massive confidence. It's really that, um, that, yeah, this, it goes with experience. Of course, the more um, clients you get, the more confidence you get for sure. 
Um, but I think that my confidence grew also through our calls, through um, your support. Um, and I totally agree that everything you have to, everything is here. So um, yes. So when you have massive confidence, people also feel that whenever I do talks, people yeah. feel that. So they kind of, I attract them. We mutually attract each other. So um, yes. Um, it's almost like you have like this soul contract to work together. You just kind of know. And, you know, not, I don't, we don't invite everybody. I don't invite everybody to work with me. Um, it's very slight. It's about one in 13 um, that I will, we'll just, I will just pick out <laughs> some diamonds. So I do cheat a little bit, um, you know, as far as that goes. Uh, but Carrie, uh, who works with me as our client concierge, uh, our what we, Zoom angel, we have lots of names for her. She always says we should have like time lapse photography on people when you know they first come in, and then you know seeing them see them emerging uh, confident. Because at the beginning, there's doubts, there's debts, there's fears, there's like confusion, and then clear and loving and powerful in a beautiful way it's and making and being a force and making a meaningful difference in the world it is quite spectacular I just you know I every graduation I just get goosebumps uh I can just feel it and then just to see the difference that you guys are are making it it it, it feels so good uh it feels so good all around your clients win you win I win we all win when we're expressing you know more fully who we really are and and that's lined up um you know, and it's the mindset and mechanics. You talked about, you know, we, we often, you know, as we work together, I always say there's the mindset and the mechanics. There's like having, I teach something called the love elevator. It's in my books. So it's really important to come up from that high vibe place. But then also uh, the mechanics, like what do you do? Like, how do you do it? And so both blending those two things together is kind of our secret sauce of, of how that works. Um, when, what would you say is the biggest, um, I guess kind of two two things I'm wondering about. The biggest thing that you had to learn or do differently to get where you are now. Like the biggest thing, if you, if you were to say um, from where you were, maybe from that first phone call, you know, when we're on the call, you know, first meeting and maybe before you're in the program and, um, and then now the, the I, either a turning point moment or a thing that you learned to do differently that allowed this sort of success to come through. I really feel like your success, you're already there. We're just chipping away the excess. It's what's within you. It's who you really are. And we're just chipping away the excess as opposed to finding it out there. But what would you say was some turning point moments or decisions that you made or a shift or something that you learned that uh, was really key in this process? So you always say, um, do what works, stick with what works. Mm -hmm. And for me, I think that at the beginning, I was trying many different things. So, you know, you always say, think about one thing for the next 90 days. Don't mm -hmm. um, try to do many things because then you're not focused and it's true. And I think what really changed for me was obviously my confidence, but um, understanding what my strengths were. So I do a lot of webinars on a specific platform, but um, my clients didn't come um, when I got into the platform, but I stuck to it because I like speaking. So I understood that I like speaking. I don't like writing. So doing the things that I love, understanding what I love and doing more of that progressively and getting better at it, progressively clients kept coming. So now I get clients from doing just webinars and um, that I enjoy very much. I'm really, I got much better than when I started. So that was the turning point for me, really understanding what I'm good at and just sticking with one thing. And if it works, just keep doing this. Yeah, 
Yeah, I would say if it feels good, you're going in the right direction. If it feels like you're heading, <laughs> hitting your head against the wall, turn around and go in the other direction. You got it. One other, the, the paid ads was a myth buster. There's so many things that have, people have preconceived and notions that they have to do in order to be successful and what it requires. So sometimes people think it takes, uh, you have to work many, many hours and sleepless nights in order to make this work. That's one myth that a lot of my six-figure people really um yeah, it, it's nice to dispel that myth. So you can speak to that if you want. Um, and, but the other thing is that you have to be online on TikTok and Facebook and social media and Instagram posting like five times a day or else, or, or, and you have to build a huge email list or else, or you have to have this um, great website or else. You want to just take some pins and just pop these balloons here. <laughs> <laughs> so tell us about how much time do you spend posting on TikTok and Instagram and social media? I don't have TikTok. Um, and no, I don't. Um, that's not my strategy. I don't enjoy posting, um, uh, especially not if it's a job. Mm -hmm. It's not something I enjoy. And you just said do more of things that, that, that you love. And I've managed to, and I know that some other um, health, um, six figure health coaches haven't posted either. And they've yeah. done very specific things because they did things that they love. And when it comes to my schedule, I work well, a lot less than when I worked uh, as a lawyer, but I just work um, uh, four time, four, three and a half um times a week like days a week um i don't work on fridays i don't work on monday mornings um and i don't work on um tuesday afternoons so so important for people to hear that because the biggest one of the biggest things that people pe people hold themselves back you know you the six figure health coach or beyond is already within and people have these preconceived notions and we ask some questions when people are coming to us you know through drshauna.com and they're trying to get one of our books or or talk to us and and uh, to find out like well what, what would it take for me to do it and we're happy to like point you in the right direction in that and a lot of times they'll say well i don't want to put myself out there but i guess i have to um, and I and I've had people who've come with 20,000 Instagram followers, but no clients, no income. How is that helpful? And we don't have that, uh, but we are making a difference. So it depends. Now, I do have some some of our health coaches do like social media and it's working for them. So it can be part of your strategy, but it doesn't have to look like anybody else's. The way Cleo does this is different than anybody else. And Rachel, another six figure, multiple six figure health coach that you might hear me speak about the way she does it like nobody else. Claudia, six figure health coach in Spain. She does it differently than anyone else. Cookie, like different than anyone else. So it you be good for you is my motto and it's about finding what works and using your emotions kind of as your guide if it feels good you're going in the right direction keeping it narrow keeping it specific and really there are not a lot of shoulds you you know or or have tos i mean you have to have a niche you really should deliver excellent results for your clients and you should have a plan so that when you implement it it won't burn you out but barring that um be authentically you. And that's where the secret sauce and the magic is. So awesome. Well, this has been really um, uh, great for people to know. And, and hopefully they're breathing a sigh of relief and they're thinking, oh, you mean I don't have to do a bunch of paid ads? Uh, you mean I don't have to post on this or that if I don't like to? It's one way. I'm not saying it's wrong, but it's not the only way. And most of my successful, mega successful health coaches are not I mean, they're on social media. Some of them are not on it at all, but they're on it a little bit, but that's not how they're getting clients. That's not how you get clients. There are other ways. I always say, I've been doing this so long. I've been doing it since before there was social media. <laughs> so the basic principles of helping people solve their problems, that's where it's at. And if you do that excellently, people will find you and and getting yourself in front of those people. And, and Cleo does an excellent job of looking at, Kind of if you're if you're lost in a store 
if you and if you have a child and you're lost in the store from your child you both try to find each other right so if you're both looking for each other there's a pretty good chance you're going to find each other you might go to the store manager and say can you make out an announcement that i'm looking for this person if you're this person you know raise your hand or go to the nearest whatever you'll find each other so basically what cleo is doing is saying hey if you're lost and you're looking for a solution for crohn's here's where i am come over here i'm going to share with you my good stuff and that's how they can find you for people who are listening in and wondering how can i find cleo i have crohn's i would like to improve my gut health um some of those things uh, how can they reach you cleo they can reach me through my website um which is www.magnificlifewithcrohn's all attached.com and um, they'll hear more about my story, um, a few interviews that I've done, podcasts that I've been a guest in, um, also with you, Dr. Shana, with, um, which was a great interview. And um, they can get a free starter kit. And if they'd like to talk more about themselves, they can book a free call. Um, with me to just get um, more to talk more about them and figure out the next best steps for them. Awesome. And if you see behind above uh, Cleo's head, that is her uh, site name Magnifique. That's M-A-G-N-I-F-I-Q-U-E, a nod to her Paris time. Uh, Life with Crohn's. <laughs> Uh, and then Crohn's is C-R-O-H-N-S. We'll put a link in here as well to you. Uh, if you are looking at, um, I'm a health coach, uh, I, could, you, could you point me in the right direction? Or how can you get a free copy? I hand out free copies of Six Figure Health Coach on my other book, Free to Heal. Um, you can just go to drshauna.com, D-R-S-H-A-U-N-N-A.com. Anything uh, else that you would just like to uh, end with? Any parting words at all, uh, Cleo, for people who might be listening? I just want to reiterate that your process uh, works, that I was lost like the people that I help <laughs> at the beginning, um, not knowing with a burning desire to help, but not knowing what my first step is. And it's always the first step that is the most crucial and the most difficult to really figure out. So once you make the first steps with your process, basically you took me by the hand and you um, walked me through your process, then it's, um, it's, it's it, it it goes without saying. I mean, it comes when you're very focused on who you're serving, um, and you are focused on serving. Yes. Then yes. people will find you. Your people will find you. Absolutely, absolutely. It's been an absolute pleasure, Cleo, to watch you grow. And um, I know I know how important this work is to you. Uh, soul satisfying, as I call it, soul satisfying to be able to work with who you want, really make a difference in people's lives that are really struggling, but also to be able to do it in a way that also serves your life because you matter too, so that you have time with your loved ones and when they need it, when you need it. And uh, that's a game changer. I mean, that that that's more than any income at all. And and so uh, at the beginning, and you can't see your way, and it's confusing, it can be hard, but it's worth the journey, guys. It's worth the journey. It's really good. Um, or it can be. It can be. But it's a process, and it doesn't happen by default, at least not, not that I've seen. <laughs> not quickly, anyway. So uh, it was an absolute pleasure. Cleo, thank you for all that you do, uh, for all that you do, um, and for everyone that you do it. So thank you. And for all of you for tuning in, uh, you know, shine your lights. Go out, shine your lights. And of course, be good for you.